Okay, we talked mm. about the sex toys. We talked about the blowjob. We talked about the G-spot. Oh, maybe something about relationships? What do you think? Yeah. Sure. All right. Oh, yeah. Here's our sex. Let's get into it, baby. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Hans on Sex, Professor Puppet After Dark. Yay. Today, we're going to talk about relationships. More specifically, how often do people have sex? What are you, what are you doing back there? <laughs> you rascal, you. She's so <laughs> playful. She's so cute. Oh, anyway, I'm here again with the lovely T and A from Pushing Boundaries with T and A, the lovely podcast that's all about this kind of sexy stuff. I do not have a monopoly on this topic. Yes. But if you're enjoying these two lovely, lovely women, as I am, become a subscriber to their podcast, as I have. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Hans. Yeah. Well, my <laughs> pleasure. You know, it's the very least I could do to try to pop up your ratings. We hope that it's your pleasure. If my pleasure is your pleasure. Right. Oh. Listen, this all lovey dovey. Oh, it's an important. Well, let's question. talk about this. How often should, how often do people have sex? Well, let's preface this by saying we're not experts. Well, on we don't that. have stats. Well, that's true because most people's private really? lives are what private. private. But I do know sense. that yeah. typically yeah. men complain that there's not enough, and that's women true. complain that they're giving it too much. <laughs> I see, or they're being asked to do it too often. Right. I see. That's what they say. That's so they I say, never yeah. ran into that. Really? <laughs> what? I, my partner. Well, I guess actually I was just complaining about like morning sex is not my favorite, but uh-huh. but I never I never felt like he wanted more sex than I did. I see. I think it was pretty balanced. Hmm. So so you want it just as much as he does, then? Yeah. Well, that's lovely. That's a wonderful congratulations on that. <laughs> Thanks. Are that's you still nice. with that gentleman, or are you single now? We are. We have parted ways. Oh well, this is very interesting. So <laughs> sex isn't everything, huh? I see. Well, right. I'm sure. I'm sure that you know it's complicated. You have to t- reveal the details of your personal life. But you know, people's relationships are complicated. They stay yeah, together right. for reasons. They break up for reasons. Yeah, but I would say, speaking of, I mean, I, you know, I had sex after being together for many years. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, weekly, bi-weekly, right? Or not bi-weekly, like, but it would happen maybe twice a week. Or Semi-weekly, times a week. that would be. Yeah, like, but definitely there was a weekly, regular, uh-huh. not yeah. written on the schedule, but it, it right. happened pretty regularly. That's pretty good. Is, so semi-weekly, did that feel like not very much, or did that seem like a lot? I, I, that, that feels like average to not a lot. Uh-huh. I feel yeah. like once a day is What's pretty... What's a day? A, that's a pretty solid That's a pretty uh, solid, average, yeah. yes. That it, that's yeah. batting a thousand. I mean, One a day. I think that's, that's 100% a, of your day. I think that's sex. a little unrealistic. That's unrealistic given, like, real life. True. Give, right, exactly. I given, so. like, periods Who of Who has that kind of time? Right. Yeah. I mean, you you have schedules. Sometimes you're traveling. Sometimes yeah. you're, you know, you're tired. You're Right. True. So, not... I and mean, sometimes you just want to be internal. You don't want to be sharing yourself. And that's okay. But... A little foot massage, maybe call it a day. Intimacy. Yeah. Intimacy. You don't have to have sex. Well, I, I could intimacy. say you could orgasm every day, not necessarily have sex okay. every day. Sure. Interesting point. Mm. I do have to masturbate even though I am having regular sex. I see. I, yeah, that that was like, a that's a necessary thing. So wait a minute. Even if you're having uh, satisfying daily regular. orgasmic sexual intercourse with a gentleman, you are still going to masturbate every day. I will still, if I'm having sex every day uh-huh. I will probably still want to masturbate at least really every other day wow that's Can amazing I say, but, a, but that to me it's it like you're just better at it than he is mm. You, I, it is a different orgasm. To... Oh, it is oh, a yeah. different orgasm and I've heard and I felt been I've been insecure about that and so I've asked around uh-huh. thinking that yeah maybe I am just blocked in sex in some way I don't think you are darling I, I don't <laughs> think so but I but I you heard though, from from a lot of you know sexological body workers and uh-huh. people that that's fairly com- that's really common and I think it's important to say that Whatever works for you is what works for you. That's true. Yes. That's quite true. You do want to, I know, and the danger of saying that is you definitely want to examine your reasons behind uh-huh. doing what you do. Like, yes. If are you, you perceive it a problem connecting or something right. like this. Right, I right. See. It's certainly worth examining it. Mm-hmm. But if you're able to orgasm in the shower by yourself and you're able to orgasm with your partner and uh-huh. you're, you know, you want to do what you need to do. You do you. Yourself. Yeah, yeah. I will say, I and I don't think that, I think there's a lot of pressure to have like sex sessions that are really long, right? Uh-huh. Like an hour, yeah. hour, have like this like marathon thing. That's but, true. Yeah, but I, yeah, and I don't think that's necessary. Like a good quickie, and I'm and I'm satisfied. Not every time, though. You Not every time. You want the rose petals and the full, of course, the full hot of wax, course. the full top to bottom experience. Right, or like right? a, you know, or like a the deluxe wash, as they right. say. Exactly. Don't leave that out. Yeah. But don't. Mm. I think a, you know, a quickie is totally fine and sufficient oh, sure. to, to as like a regular part of your. 
No you see, I, I kind of believe that you kind of you don't like the quickies I, at yeah, all. Yeah, but that's because you take eons to orgasm. Yeah, well, eons, eh? Eons. I don't. I mean, I don't really know. A I'm has not never her partner. Been there. I see. <laughs> I'm just. Well, you're not from, speaking from experience. Yeah. This is what from what she tells you. <laughs> yeah. From what she, but I mean, I hear about it a lot, and I'm like, oh my god. Now you two are <laughs> friends. You're pals, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now I, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say you probably have not ever had a sexual experience together. Question mark. Side by side, not oh, really? together. Like in yeah, tandem, as sex, it were. The other has been <laughs> <laughs> in tandem, like next to each other. At the next same to time. each That's other, perfect word. Concurrently, <laughs> in tandem, yeah. Co-locationally. It was just there, there was only one bed and one bedroom, oh, so I, it was I, more I feel like tactical. The more you talk about so, it, the more it worsens the. <laughs> no, no, no. I just like, want to. I just want to try to paint a picture. There's two of you, and I'm listening to two other gentlemen. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, Gentlemen, uh, two other deponents, two other partners, and you are all in the same room, all making love, just to your partners. Yes. But at the same time. Okay, right. wherever you go. I wouldn't call that an orgy, really. That's just sort no. of probably how we used to do it in the caveman time. It's just you practical. Because right. we all live in the same cave together. Right. Once in a while, you're going to hear somebody next to you, like, rustling the bear skin. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, quiet not... down over there. I'm trying to sleep, Og. I have to kill a buffalo tomorrow. Do you mind? It still happens that yeah. way. I don't think we've moved that far away from that. I think oh, I most know. people would have some story. I mean, even if it's like, you know, you hear someone in the hotel room next uh-huh. door, right? Yeah, kind of yeah but yes. But, but it those is... people can't see you, though, in the hotel room next door. They can't roll over and like and like poke no, but, you in the, in but the you ear in with a, their finger. in a camping yeah. situation. Yeah, yeah. Like camping. It's so rare, though. I've never had <laughs> if the van that is kind rocking, of situation. It's true. I, what, what uh, besides... You and me, but yeah, well, well, yeah, I not see. super regular. But, but you both know an awful lot about each other's sexual tastes and uh, we do now, practices, yeah. just the practices, Needs. just from talking about we it. We would so be much. good lovers then, wouldn't we? Yeah, you would be good lovers. All right, that episode, you know, fifty-five <laughs> <laughs> pushing boundaries with Tina. That would pushing push boundaries. a boundary. That would. How often do you have sex? Yeah, a week. Oh, I'm sadly not often enough, darling. Okay. And what is not often enough? Well, you know what? It's something like when I'm young. Droughts? When I was younger, I used to think about it a lot. I used to think. Oh, wow, it's been a week, it's been two weeks, it's been a month, it's been six months, you know. And I would freak out about how long since I've had a girlfriend, you know. Mm-hmm. And then I, then your standards get lowered, the pressure is on, you start thinking, wow, I've really... Okay, who, <laughs> which one of these zebras is this panther going to tackle <laughs> when you go into the club, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Avoid and, that guy. <laughs> huh? Yeah. yeah, watch out for that guy mm-hmm. with that, 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 rough, that rough lion rough. look in his eye. But um, I don't think about how the interval anymore, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I find that when I am not in a relationship, which is current... It's, you know, months, months will go by. I'm and sorry. if you are in relationship, what's uh-huh. your ideal? Oh, ideal, I think would be, oh, wow. I don't think more than two days, if you're together, living together and spending time. Wow, no mate. more than two days should go by without, without, uh, without, without some sexual connection. Between. Even in a longer relationship. Well, I, I've been in some very long relationships. Mm-hmm. First, it's every day when you're married, you know. Mm-hmm. Then it's like every couple of days. It would take a couple of days off, you know. Then in year two, year three, it's like, well, twice a week. When it's okay... It's Friday. It's time to go again. And then it's like, oh, we have done it in a month or so. It's once a month. Wow. And the next thing you know, when you get to longer than a month, you've got to really pay attention because it might get to be three months all of a sudden. And you're like, what What happened? We used to have sex. What? And yeah. then yeah. in that interval, you've stopped paying attention to, to something and you've missed some cues. Yeah. And next thing you know, you're divorced. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. It's a sad tale to take a share with you. But uh, that's why I'm a big proponent of the date night. If you're in a relationship, no matter how busy you are with your children or whatever, you've got to make sure to have date, date night it is to reconnect a, on a grown-up level with I your agree. partner. Super making it a important. priority. It's Super like working important. out or going like to the gym or date, scheduling night. anything. You just have to like create yeah, space in your exactly. schedule in your life. Yeah, and if so it's not true. built in, then you're going to either way be having less sex. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. And you've got to you've got to check in with your partner mm-hmm. and talk about things that are not to children, that are not to rent, that are not to you know household garbage. Yeah. You've got to talk about how how you doing. How are you feeling? How yeah. are we doing? And you know what? So that they want to have say, sex. I think that if the only... I've talked to a lot of married couples who've been married quite a long time. Uh-huh. And it sounds like there's intimacy in general missing from their lives. That's true. Intimacy can exist outside of the bedroom and intercourse. You know? Sure, sure, sure. So I feel like if you're having all these other really cuddly, loving, sweet, tender moments uh-huh. that are not just sexual, I think that helps. I see. You know, it helps create that bond. Oh, and, like, certainly, certainly, certainly. That. And of course, you can have these sort of domestic, kind of domestic moments 
where right. you just all like cooking together or you're sitting on the couch together you watch you wait to watch the Game of Thrones together you know yeah. all that stuff Aww. and uh, that's all very nice it's all very lovely that's your standing date I love being in a relationship it's a wonderful thing yeah it is I'm an excellent it's boyfriend nice. by yeah. the way if you're paying attention <laughs> but uh, you know yeah, listen I think th- there's no rules I think and as you no. get older you're right. all, as you get older like me mm-hmm. you know you, you, you're, you're kind of uh, primal physical genital urge is less pressing you know what I mean? You can make it happen when you want to, but it's much more mental. It's well, much more. You're not. You don't just. You're not like a teenager who has just rocks to get off. All right. You know what Which I'm is saying? kind of why I'm a proponent of dating older men. Hello. Mm. <laughs> Hello. I am also a proponent a of, of you dating older men. <laughs> Thank you. I, look, I I just think it's important to like right to put a definition on like should you be having more sex? Mm-hmm. All this. That's almost the wrong conversation yeah mm-hmm. the wrong way to think about it I it's see. like if there's intimacy and a strong connection i feel sex follows it's a good yes. and if maybe if it maybe if it's yeah. not happening then there's something you need to talk about and work through mm-hmm. and then that'll right. release and allow for more sex yeah i find Wonderful. that when i'm avoid sex sometimes it's because i don't want to go inside myself because ah. there's because you need to share yourself mm-hmm. with someone in for like that really deep good. moment right, right. Yeah. for it to be sex. good right and if, if I'm in a really tough place and I or if I'm feeling really vulnerable to that person, mm-hmm. I don't want to go there. Right. That, but that's something I need to take time to address myself. Yes, indeed. So less judgment, less measuring of your, am I measuring up? And more intimacy, yeah, more yeah. connection, more sharing. Yes. And more personal introspection, if need be. I think that's a part of life, too. Oh, this is wonderful. We are all like yeah. one big happy family here. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys want to move in, by the way, I've got a space <laughs> over here. I'm sure I could... Uh, Work yeah. something out, you know? Very generous of you. Well, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Hans on set, Professor Puppet, After Dark. This is actually the last one for a while because, you know, for Adam and Eve, they wanted to do 12. This is the 12th one of this season. But you can still use my discount code for as long as you see it on YouTube here. Yeah. Hans will get you 50% off almost any item, three free DVDs, a free mystery gift, and free shipping. Right? Wow. Amazing. You guys should get one of these affiliate I'm, codes, you know? I'm, yeah, for your we podcast. are going to work on it. I actually really like Adam and Eve's... Um, I mean, they yeah. have everything and anything that you can want. I should hook you up with my guy. Sounds great. Because you guys should totally be, you know, shilling for Adam and Eve with as much as you talk about this stuff. Because I like right? them. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you again soon. Leave us a comment if you want to see these youngly, lovely young ladies come back. Yeah. As do I. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be a big kiss one more time. Oh. Mwah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs>